Hello and welcome everyone. In this video, we'll be learning about how to handle iframes using Selenium WebDriver with Python. I've chosen this uh, login functionality for Alibaba.com in order to demonstrate how we can handle the iframes. So to start with, I have a simple code that will be like uh, that will automate this login functionality but I haven't right now handle any iframe so whenever I run this code it will give me some error because I haven't handled that iframe we have on this page so um, the script is running so this login page appears and uh, we can see at the end where the error we came across so the script is running and as soon as uh, it's done there would be no error so we'll be looking at the error log so here you go we are able to see the error that unable to locate this element login id this one the id the or the locator for this username field or email field so the difference is that this login form is calling is calling it under an iframe so if you came across such an error then you need to look you need to inspect uh, the code first either there is some iframe or whatever the reason is we can we came across this issues due to like if because of an iframe or be, or the thing that this element or this particular um, field doesn't load on the web page so for if there is an iframe we are going to see how to handle that so whenever you came across an, an iframe you can you see here is the id for that iframe you need to copy that and in the code you need to make some changes so i already have that code and that i commented earlier so in order to handle that iframe you need to like enter this command driver dot switch underscore two dot frame and that id of that particular iframe which is the one i i just copied from here you can see in the code so whenever you write here now what what you are doing is that you are just switching to that particular iframe so whenever you run the code that um, the user will be able to la land on this page and then it switch to this particular iframe which has that username and password field and with sign in, sign in button so now when i run the code it will work as expected i haven't entered any email or password just i'm just passing some variable thing some text thing so now we'll look into this after handling the iframe now we will be able to enter the username as well as password and click the sign button so the script is working and uh, here is we navigate to the login page of alibaba.com right so now you would be able to see that we are able to enter this login information and this password and now it will click that sign button so this error is due to because I haven't passed any email and the correct username and password actually so this is just for our understanding how to 
handle that iframe thing so i hope this video would uh, make you able to handle iframes so whenever you came across such such a case you would be able to handle this way so this is we will and again look at the code so this code would is used to iframe so i've just commented this thing as well so this code basically handle that iframe so whenever you have different iframes you need to switch to that particular iframe first and then write this code this i code thank you for watching this video you can ask me any question if you have you can um, email me at ifurkan4 at gmail.com i'll be available to answer any of your queries regarding this thank you for watching this video bye bye